If you're struggling because you've got a massive tort tort bill or you just don't have enough money in your bank to pay it, the best thing to do is contact tort tort. It doesn't have to get out of hand and if you think it already is, don't panic. Hopefully, I can give you some solutions today. There are months where everything mounts up and you feel overwhelmed about what you can and can't pay. Now the cost of living's gone up, finding the money to pay for things can be a real struggle. In most cases, if you let Talk Talk know in advance that you're not going to be able to pay the full amount, they may be able to come to an agreement with you. They may agree to set up a new payment plan. Before you miss a payment, you may be able to change the payment due date by logging in as long as you haven't already changed it in the last three months. If it's too late and you've already missed your payment, Talk Talk will email you a payment reminder that comes with a £12.50 fee on your next bill. If you still don't pay, the support team will contact you and you may lose your service or have a restricted service. Talk Talk do provide some advice on the website for struggling customers, so I've left a link to that in the description. Communicating with Talk Talk before you miss a payment will make things much easier for you. If you don't pay your bill and ignore Talk Talk, they may pass this on to a debt collection agency. Agency. There is a chance that it could affect your credit rating, which make it hard to get things like credit cards, loans and mortgages. If you found yourself in debt with Talk Talk and you feel a bit overwhelmed, there are options available to you if you're financially struggling. I'll run through some of these with you now. These solutions aren't all suitable for everyone, but you might find that one or two might work for you. I'll quickly explain them to you. So first up, we've got debt management plans and they're an informal agreement that you make with the creditors to pay your debts back at a lower a more affordable rate. So normally this means paying less each month but over a longer time frame. Next is debt relief orders. They freeze your debt payments for a full year and then if your situation hasn't changed after 12 months the debt's written off. The only thing is you can't own anything with significant value like a house or have more than £2,000 in savings. Another option is offering a final settlement. If you happen to have access to a large lump sum, then you can offer that to the creditors. Even if it's not for the full amount you owe, they may be willing to accept it to save them time. Equally though, it may be refused. Individual voluntary arrangements are another way to deal with your debt. It's a formal agreement between you and your creditors to reduce your payments to one simple payment each month. It lasts for five years and at the end, any remaining debt written off. Bankruptcy is probably the most famous option and you may already know but with bankruptcy all your assets are reviewed and some may be sold off to pay back your debt. After a year any remaining debt will be written off. When debts mount up, it's overwhelming, but it's best not to ignore them or it'll just get worse. One simple step that you could take today is to find out if any of the debt solutions that I mentioned could work for you. In the description of this video, I've linked to a form on my new website and it's got a few multiple choice questions like, how much debt do you owe and how many people do you owe? At the end of the form, it'll connect you to a company that I've partnered with to provide you with all the information that you need about debt solutions that are available. So click the link in the description check it out and let me know how you get on.